So I want to show you how to do this. I've had a couple people ask me about this when they saw it on one of my setup videos on, uh, that you can see linked down below where I show you kind of how I set up my particular Notion environment. But uh, this is how to set up a visual bookmarks or visual favorites list in Notion. So here we go. This is my home page where, you know, I haven't really changed this in a while and I'm actually getting a little bored with it. I'm probably gonna tinker around with the layout pretty soon. I've seen some really cool ideas from people on YouTube. And so I'll be probably wanting to um, mess with this a little bit pretty soon because it's been the same way for about a year now and I'm, I'm ready to mix it up. Um, so um, down here though, I have a list of my enjoyments. These are things I like to keep lists of, you know, for example, you know, lists of different bourbons that I like and have tried my favorites and so on. Um, and I also have a list of movies that, you know, where I keep kind of a wish list and what are my favorite movies and, um, and a want to watch list. And so when I think of a movie where I'm like, oh yeah, I wanna be sure I catch that movie, I will drop it on my want to, want to watch list. Uh, that's mostly how I use this. And so I wanna show you how I did this and how easy it is to just click here and add a movie and have this really nice visual bookmark here. Uh, Notion actually makes this really simple. So let me show you from scratch how I set this up. So I, I've gone ahead and I've set up a page here and I named it favorite movies. So this is just a blank page. Let's go in here and you know, you can tinker around with the cover or whatever. There we go. I just can't help it. I have to have a cover on there. If you're the kind of person that doesn't like to bother with that sort of thing, maybe Notion's not for you, but I love that aspect of Notion. Um, so I've just got the title of the page here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out. I'm going to start out with something new. Okay. And I'm going to create a blank web bookmark. Okay. And you can just leave this blank here. All right, now what we want to do is make it really easy to create this in the way that we want so that every time we click the button, we get a new web bookmark. Uh, it's just a nice little step. All right, so now I'm going to hit the plus button. I'm going to do um, template button. Okay. Duplicate blocks with a click. All right, this is a great feature, and you, you have, there's so many uses for this that you can just do a different video on every one of these uses for this. It's really a great feature. And so the screen comes up, uh, a box comes up here where you're going to configure this. Um, first of all, what are we gonna name it? We're gonna say, add a favorite movie. So we'll assume this is the list of movies that we have seen. I'm sorry, there's a robot in the background that's talking on its own. AI is here. Um, so add a favorite movie. That's going to be the name of this button. And we want to duplicate whatever block is down here. I don't need a to-do. I'm going to get rid of that. What I want in this spot is the web bookmark because that's what these visual bookmarks are. I'm going to drop that in here. And now I'm going to close this. Now I have a button that says add a favorite movie. So whenever I click this, I'm going to drop in a, instead of having to go and type, you know, look up web bookmark or whatever, you just click that and it gives you this block instantly. So it's just a little bit faster and it's just cool. So uh, you can drop in any web link here that you want. So what I use is um, Letterboxd. Now I keep <laughs> my favorite movies in Letterboxd. So some might say, well, this is kind of redundant. You're doing it in Notion. I know, but I just like it. I like to keep a list of all kinds of different favorites together in Notion. That's why I do this, even though I have favorite movies in uh, Letterboxd. So I'll go there and I'll get a link. So let's go to Letterboxd here and we'll look for Tombstone. And there it is. All right. So all I'm going to do is just grab the link to the Tombstone page at Letterboxd. And you can use IMDb or whatever if you're doing a movie page. Really anywhere on the internet where it's got a page that just gives details on this favorite thing. Go to Notion, paste it in here, and create bookmark. And now I've got a 
visual bookmark for the Tombstone movie. So um, what you would do is just duplicate this whole, this whole process to add another column. Okay, so um, <clears throat> I'm going to take this and duplicate it. But I want to configure this to change it. I just want to change the name of it. Say, add movie to, um, we'll say watch list. Okay, get that. And it's already web bookmark, okay, close. So what I'm going to do is just, for me, what I, how I want to format it is I want to move this over to the side. So I've got two columns, and now I've got to move this one just under here. There we go. If you're not seeing the image on two columns, do full width under the settings here, another style drop down. I knew I remembered that. And that'll make sure you can see everything. So. Over here, I'll do the same thing. So it's a movie I want to see. Go here. Um, oh, come on, think, think, think. Oh, get out. I still haven't seen that movie. <laughs> it's all look up a movie I want to see. There it is. Yeah, 2017. Still haven't seen that. Okay, definitely want to see that one. I'm going to copy. Go back to here, create bookmark, and there we have it. So every time you want to add a movie to your watch list, boom, just click there. So you can use this for anything. It's a great feature. It makes things really fast. You want to drop in a list of visual bookmarks and save a list of favorites. All right, so that's it. That's how you set up a list of favorites. Uh, if you like this video, click on the like button and go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more where this came from. I've got a few other videos on Notion. As I mentioned earlier, you can check those out in the description below. And I will see you on the next video.